Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Yo, we got French Montana's driver getting got, man. Lil Baby, the boxing promoter. Drake on CLB. Lloyd Banks dropping the heat and Kodak Black on Insecure Ninjas. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, you know what it is. Be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content, man. Yo, hit that notification bell so you can be first in line when we drop this heat. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man. You know YouTube be unsubscribing some of y'all, man. So y'all go on and hit that subscribe button so you can be on deck when we drop this craziness. Yo, man, let's get right to it, man. Yo, French Montana, right? His driver was robbed at gunpoint at 5 a.m. yesterday morning, man. Yo, that's Sunday. Yo, if you're gonna wake up at 5 a.m., right? Because I could barely wake up at 7.30, man. If your ass gonna be up, right? At 5 a.m. I shouldn't have added S on there, but you know what I'm saying, right? You might as well put on some clothes and go to work, man. I mean, I don't get it. French Montana's driver was outside the Dream Hotel in New York City, right? Dream is something you should be doing, you know what I mean? And, 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 like at, at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Nevertheless, the driver was standing outside the hotel at 5 a.m. He was at work. Right? And he was wearing a $300,000 Richard Mill watch. Right? Mistake number one. Right? Why the hell would you pay someone $300,000 for a watch, man? <laughs> you don't know what time it is. Look, if I sold you a watch and charged you three hundred dollars and you, and, you, and you purchased it, you just got got, man. You see what I'm saying? Look, you would think that this guy had something that didn't make so much noise. Yo, man, your boy's back in the studio, man. You see what I'm saying? Just came back off a of vacation, so you know we tight. Although, a vacation is a state of mind. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm always on vacation. Anyway, look. The driver was also rocking a Cuban Lynx chain, which had a price tag of 40 k Mistake number two. Look, two masked men approach him and tell him to run his jewels. Your boy wasn't trying to give up 340 k at the mere request of two thugs. So, of course... They punched him, right? They then pulled out a pistol and fired the joint at the ground. Yo, do you know how many people would gladly body you for 340 racks? Cats will kill you for the price of a mediocre 55 for the price of a mediocre 55 inch LG TV. You see what I'm saying? Let's think this through for a second. Some folks will shoot at the ground to have you hand over 340k in jewelry, and others will finish you for a mere 500 bucks. The problem is, we don't know which one is which when they're rolling up on us. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, man, it's probably wisest, right? To not run around with 340K dangling on your neck and arms like bait. You, you see what I'm saying? Like shiny shark bait. Shark bait, woo ha ha. You see what I'm saying? Look, y'all <laughs> y'all keep thinking, y'all tuning in for celeb news. This ain't celeb news. This is a sociology class, man. It's a psych class, fam. I mean, come on, bro. It, it's like Grimm's fairy tales, but starring rap artists, right? The, the fairies it, are, are like big booty thoughts tempting you into a dark cave of death and despair and tomfoolery. You see what I'm saying? You're like, yo, celeb, I know you don't use the word tomfoolery on a regular. You don't know me, man. <laughs> Lil Baby, my dog, right? Chopped it up a bit with Charlemagne the G, right? We ain't, we ain't gonna call him, you know, the G-O-D because that's blasphemy. And uh, we try not to do that. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, he stated, uh, Lil Baby, stated that he would be down to see artists hop in a boxing ring and handle they biz. Yo, take a listen. Lil Baby up here. Lil Baby, what's happening? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, we're looking forward to your performance later, but um, can you give us a prediction? Are you team TikTok or team YouTube? I'm team both. You team both? <laughs> Absolutely. I was telling you, man, we need to do this with the rappers. I'm willing to help set it up. I think you could pull it pull it off because what I'm noticing, everybody like to talk to each other on social media, but man, they can put some gloves on, get in the ring, and handle their business. Yeah, I think that would be a hell of a situation. Absolutely. YouTube uh, and TikTok is showing more heart than the rappers right now. But, Lil Baby, what, what we can expect from you your say? performance tonight? Huh? 
You said the YouTube was showing the YouTube more heart than the YouTube was the TikTok is showing more heart than the rappers right now. Now we just got to set it up. The rappers going to get in there. You think they'll do it? For sure. All right. You heard it from Lil Baby. Hey, yo, man, that would be crazy, right? Because a lot of rap artists talk tough on record. And that's easy to do when you have firearms and a crew at your disposal. You see what I'm saying? And I mean that, at your disposal. Because a lot of these artists that talk about how, 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 you know, how they love to shoot guns and all that other stuff, they hold crew is nothing but people at their disposal that they're like yo man he'll go to jail for me they'll go to jail for me at your disposal right in other words you'll throw him away anyway my bad um a one-on-one -on -one, though with artists that's a different story i don't think a lot of artists would go for that look no baby could set it up right because I could have sworn Boosie said he wanted to do something similar. But here's the thing. I honestly don't see a lot of artists doing that. Look, I remember hearing Tupac say in Above the Rim, he said something like, what I look like rolling around on the ground with you. You see what I'm saying? I think a, a lot of artists feel that way. Because that's what it is. Like, lots of fights wind up on the ground. You're like, oh, no, not when I fight, yeah, whatever. When you fight, too. You see what I'm saying? Yo, by the way, I want to give a shout out to uh, Miss Key X, right? I think she was talking about that uh, Megan Thee Stallion thought ish when she said, look, I agree a hundred, a thousand percent with you, celeb. I wish a fool would refer to me as a thought or a freak. I don't refer to myself as one and won't answer to it either. Ladies need to learn to stop selling out to the media hype, thinking it's cool to call themselves out their names just because their favorite rappers make it cool to do so i don't even like the term itch right is it me or is this generation confused and filled with a bunch of hypocrites yes uh not only do i love you miss key x right but um i 100 percent agree a lot of folks are confused they actually think that that's what they are you see what i'm saying i, I find it to be odd um also shout out to ryan shanda chanda right who said um uh, yo man Kids are incredibly selfish. Oh, wait, I think he was quoting me. You said, but yeah, 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 you, you're right on that. You know what I mean? You know, I think he quoted me because he knows how real that is. Anyway, um, when I'm thinking about this boxing, celeb boxing, it has me thinking about Drake, right? Uh, who has hands, by the way, but never mind all that. When I was coming back to the Crizzle, right, from vacation, a lot of the songs on my playlist, because you know, you gotta have a playlist on deck. A lot of the songs on my playlist, uh was drake he kept popping up like one after the other on my plan i'm like yo drake here's another one with right with drake okay i even had to add hotline bling back onto the playlist because uh you know along with that sh that song from uh shinsia right that song blessed if you haven't heard it you gotta hear it that joint is fire you see what i'm saying anyway my bad she, she gives me hype um and, and don't tell me anything about drake and shinsia please okay uh ain't nothing been verified yet Anyway, um, Drake is uh, after Lil Baby is one of my favorite artists of this generation. Like, I never, I never would have said it if you asked me. But his music is hot to death, which had me thinking: Did that certified lover boy already come out? Cause you know, I mean, your boy be late on stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Well, Drake must have heard my question because this came out. Yo, take a listen. Hey, he coming back Wait, again. Shout to Drake. Shout to Drake, you said man. Coming back? Don't quote cool him on that. When is it? <laughs> When is it? Yeah. Don't quote me on that. because I'm trying to drop my album. Don't quote him on that. It is. I don't know the dates. It's, 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 they don't have a date. They don't have a date. It's, in, it's, in the end of, it's at the end of the summer. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Man, my album will be out by then. Okay, okay. Oh, all right, cool. All right, I'll feature on this. I mean, I mean now, sir. <laughs> I mean, sir, can, can you? So, at the, what is it? That was the ultimate, what's it called? The ultimate rap league uh, rap league battle or something like that. Ultimate rap leagues. You see what I'm saying? It's a rap battle, right? He donated 50K to the victor and said his joint is coming out by the end of the summer. How the hell am I supposed to get through my summer with all these old songs if you are the one in my playlist, fam? I mean, get it together, man. You see what I'm saying? Um, yo, shout out to uh, Chris Ingebrigtsen. All right, my man's been rocking with us like for um, ever since we, we jumped on the channel. You see what I'm saying? My man said, yo, Celeb, I got a question for you. What's your number one fear? I done told y'all already. My number one fear is um, going outside to start my car on a cold day and a rat running into my crib, like leaving my door cracked open and a rat running in. Cause now I got to deal with, there's a rat in my crib and I now got to stomp it out. <laughs> Some of y'all like, what kind of West Indian, you know what I'm saying? St stomp out a rat kind of thing. Yo man, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You gotta put on some Tim's before you do it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, um, you know that Lloyd Banks came through and dropped the jump off. Right, like the like the the, the the serious joint, and his album is getting rave reviews from all the greats. I'm talking Raekwon the Chef, who dropped the legendary "Only Built for Cuban Links," came through on the gram and stated, "Did that 
right? Lloyd Banks, fire. You see what I'm saying? Busted Bus came through and gave props to Banks and posted Blue Hef, a.k.a. Lloyd Banks. Thank you, King, right? I love Busta Rhymes, man. You see what I'm saying? Yo, Lloyd Banks should be proud to have Raekwon the chef and, and Busta Bus come through. You see what I'm saying? Um... What you gonna call it? Uh, Race to five nine said you've been truly missed. Welcome back, King. Great body of work. And uh, and DJ Scratch even came through and said the album is dope. Yo, this sounds like a great welcome back for the punchline, King. And finally, yeah, we're trying to keep it short for today. You see what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question now. If your lady became a hit at her job, right? I'm talking she got a big bag. I mean, like a raise from a supervisor, the whole nine yards, right? But she attributed her success. To Damon, spelled like demon, from the, the room down the hall. You see what I'm saying? Now, Damon was already successful, but her success got Damon an even bigger bag, right? Damon was super thankful, so thankful that he bought your shorty a bracelet. Let me ask you a question. Would you allow her to accept that bracelet? Now, now, please, before you answer that out loud, right? Because I know some of y'all, there's couples listen to the joint, right? I do not want to hear about divorce proceedings. Three months from now, stemming from the answer to this question. Please consider that before you answer out loud. Ladies, right? Before you answer, there are many a woman that will bring your man lunch and give him gifts. So think about it before you answer that question. Now, while y'all argue over that, let me let me throw this out here for the rest of the folks, right? Whether he should take the gift or not. Look, the situation may be very similar to what Cardi B may be in, or at least that's what the interwebs suspects. We did a story a couple days ago about Kodak Black celebrating his birthday and giving a gift to Cardi B. Oh, by the way, talking about Kodak Black, nigga, I see him wear, right? Yo, uh, June 11th is considered in his, um, what is it, in, in, in like a certain part of Florida, Kodak Black Day. See, that's how you honor an individual while they are alive. You see what I'm saying? Yes, they did the same thing for DMX after he died, but they're doing this for Kodak Black while the man's alive, man. Salute to that. Anyway, right. Kodak Black wanted to give uh, Cardi B a bracelet, a beautifully, a beautiful icy bracelet, right? The joint was sick, but now Kodak has posted another message and said, quote, insecure ad and don't want his itch to have a homie. You was playing like my dog because you ain't want your ish to want me. <laughs> Close quote, right? <laughs> you like, yo, he don't sound like that. Yo, but he does to me. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, the thought process is this. The bracelet he had for Cardi, right, is a no-go with her husband. Now, we haven't officially heard from either Set or Cardi, right? But let me think this through for a sec because I heard of this type of thing before, man. Check this out. The scriptures teach the human heart is deceitful and desperately diseased. In other words, your heart or your will, right? What you will do will often shock you. You know how often the words come out. I can't believe I'm doing this, right? With the response being, yeah, whatever, don't stop. You see what I'm saying? Look, your heart will deceive you frequently. I, I tell anybody in a heartbeat, right? I don't trust myself. I trust everyone else even less. Given the right circumstances, you will do anything. And, and you that says, yo, I never cheat though, right? I never cheat. You, you're probably the first one to do it between the two of y'all. Cause you clearly have no idea how elusive your heart could be. Couple that with human biology and you can forget it. So what could have been the best course of action? Perhaps checking with her husband first to see if it's cool with him to do that. Some of y'all like, man, I don't need his permission to get a gift from someone. Oh good, then he doesn't need yours, right? Two can play that game. And if your situation is peaceful right now, you don't wanna open that can of worms. Now, it's completely possible that he can look at her as just a sister, right? But at the end of the day, that ain't his sister, okay? And that ain't your brother. Look, call me insecure, I don't care, man. I don't trust nobody. Cause when the lights go off and they brush up against you the right way, <laughs> your joint don't look up at you and say, oh, but she like a sister though. You follow what I'm saying, man? Now, you could be like, yo man, whatever, man, just take the gift. But I would then assume that you don't understand the psychological law of reciprocity. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that potential situation, man. Not should your lady or your man, right? Let's keep it general. Should a person who has a partner accept a gift of high value 
from someone of the opposite sex. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. In the meantime, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. And hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.